villa was completed in 1936 by uh, businessman Eric Moeller. He's a British Jew who did a lot of work here in uh, Asia Pacific, including in uh, Hong Kong and Singapore, uh, mostly in mainland China in the early 20th century. There's a lot of legend that goes into the house itself. Some of it is true, some of it is not. They say the house was inspired by castles and in old novels, the same inspiration with the Disney castles, really. It's said that his daughter, who he loved, he had a couple children, but he said one of his daughters really, really loved castles, and he wanted to make that a dream come true for his daughter. It's a lovely story. Whether it's true or not, nobody really knows. He was an avid animal lover. He had cats and dogs, but mostly horses. A lot of his wealth came from horse racing, and you see that evident throughout the property. When Moeller left China in the late 1940s, this actually was home to the Communist Youth League. Uh, for quite a while. I think it was in 2012 it opened as a hotel. The design is obviously very Scandinavian, but uh, also has some Chinese elements too. And there are also elements of shipping because this family is heavily involved in shipping and shipbuilding. And you see uh, old photographs throughout the property. Here's the room. Very, very ornate, very classy. It's not a big room, but I really dig it. Sitting area, very elegant. I love the artwork. Look at the, the wallpaper and then the wall moldings, the crown molding on the ceiling. Very, very nice. Some fresh fruit waiting for me. Have you noticed, you know, the floors have some scratches and so the furniture has a little bit of dings. That's actually okay. One of the cool things about staying in an old hotel is that those little imperfections kind of add to the charm of a place like this. So, you know, they can get away with it a little bit more. I love the wood clock. That's a nice touch. All the modern switch gear. Elegant lighting. This uh, bed curtain here, very interesting. The bed is super, super soft. I'm going to enjoy my evening here. And I got two of these bottles and then one big one, all for free. That's the first time I've seen that before. Very cool. Oh wow, well-stocked minibar. That's better than most other hotels I've stayed at lately. Workstation, kind of small, but uh, you know, a, a nice comfortable chair with an elegant pillow. All the modern switch gears, USB ports, everything you need. Big, big TV that has, you know, HBO and a couple other things. Moving to the bathroom. This is very, very elegant. Um, it's not really my taste, but I can appreciate it for what it is. The toilet is an electric toilet, which all five-star hotels should have. It's inexcusable in today's day and age to not have that. A great sink area, all the amenities, Big, comfy, cushy towels. I love this mosaic. This is just beautiful. These are comfy, cushy slippers. Some robes up here. Nice to provide you with an umbrella because it is a rainy day today. Very modern shower. And mine has a balcony because I'm on the first floor. And this overlooks part of the gardens out here. I absolutely love staying in hotels like this. I mean, yes, the design is not what I would pick personally as a man. I mean, I think I think my girlfriend would absolutely love this place, but um, I can appreciate it for what it is because it's so interesting and unique. And that's why we stay in hotels like this, to give you that experience. The tub is quite the centerpiece. I'm, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll use it tonight, but uh, you know, I might as well, right? A very, very complete compendium. Very nicely done. Complete with stationery, a room service menu. I mean, it is fully complete, both in English and in Chinese. Everything you need. I love to see that. A lot of hotels like to skimp on this stuff. But they did not. Even here in the elevator, they got this plush kind of backing to it. Little touches here and there, little touches. You can see 
see here. Just some uh, history of the family. Entrance is through here, which is the old carriage house. The main house is to the right. This is not a tourist attraction. It actually says on a sign outside, it says, this is not a tourist attraction, please do not loiter to take photos. Now this bronze statue of the horse here is actually to commemorate uh, Muller's horse, the Pionic Hill. Legend has it that the horse is actually buried underneath that statue. There is another stone um, dog right here, and the management says that this is the actual dog that Moeller had. So there is um, an area here they call it the King's Villa, which is an actual uh, restaurant. has a bunch of, uh, it's a restaurant and they have a bunch of private dining rooms, a couple parties going on it looks like. Little touches like this, like a little porthole here, even the, uh, the helm here. It goes back to the history of him being a shipping magnet. gym <laughs> but they have one All in all, this is a beautiful stay right in the heart of the French concession. Well, not quite on the heart, it's on the, uh, just on the outskirts of the French concession, which is just one block away. It's this little oasis of paradise among the hustle and bustle of Shanghai. Highly recommend it, very unique, interesting stay, very ornate place. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time here. This is the type of hotel that I enjoy staying at. If you're gonna spend the money for a five-star hotel, why not have a unique and interesting bit of history to go along with it.